Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'll be starting a new series where I'm going to go in depth with the new game. Well, it's not really new, but it came out quite recently. Um, so yeah, I'll be going in depth with the game Hawken. Some of you might know it, some of you might not. But anyway, to, in today's episode we're just going to be talking about the basics of the game. So if you guys don't know the game then you might decide to pick it up and, well, it's a free to play. So, um, But you might want to start playing it and that's what this episode in this series is going to be about you know um, I'm gonna try and help you guys as much as I can and in the at the same time I'll be learning some of the game some of some about the game as well because I personally uh, picked it up or well, downloaded it uh, a couple of days ago I think two days ago and it's really good and I don't know much about the game so personally I think it's gonna be a good episode well good series because you guys are gonna be learning and at the same time I'm going to be learning stuff about the game as well so yeah let's get started so as I mentioned earlier Hawken is a free to play multiplayer mech based first person shooter that puts the player in the pilot seat of a customizable robotic war machine and yes I did get that from the internet so in today's episode we're going to be talking about the mechs or the robots but in game they're actually known as the mechs so the mechs are broken down into three different groups the A class, the B class and the C class. Hawkins mechs come with a primary and a secondary weapon, up to two deployable items and one unique ability, and a countermeasurement that can be used only once for each life. Each of these classes have their own weapons and special abilities which can be customized with unlockable skills and weapon upgrades. So starting off with the A class mechs, these are very lightweight and agile which makes them an ideal mech for hit and run type combat. Um, however their armor tends to be very weak so you need to be able to dodge the enemy projectiles and bullets. Uh, this however does take some practice and skill. Maybe not so much the dodging but actually while you're dodging to, to still have your aim on the enemy target. Because otherwise, this you know you're not going to get anywhere, and you're very likely going to get killed. So you need to be able to dodge the bullets and projectiles, and at the same time still be able to shoot at the enemy. Otherwise, it's kind of pointless. In the A class, there are four different mechs. One of them being Berserker, Infiltrator, Scout, and the Reaper. Um, I personally haven't actually played around with the A class mechs, so I can't actually tell you how they function and stuff. But this is something for the future episodes where I'm going to go in depth with every single one of the mechs. But moving on with the B class, the B class mechs combine the speed, agility, and power. Um, they're very versatile, which makes them ideal for a number of different play styles. In the B class, there are five different mechs, which consist of the Assault, the CT Recruit, which I believe is the mech that you start off with, the Sharpshooter, the Bruiser, and the Raider. Moving on with the C class. The C-Class mechs are extremely durable and are able to take a lot of shots, however, they are very very slow, so this means that they can be a very easy target to the enemy. They also have a unique ability where they are able to transform into turrets, which makes them ideal for defending areas. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the game mode is called, but there is a game mode which is basically like Domination, and it seems like these C-Class mechs are very good for that game mode. In the C-Class there are four different mechs which consist of the Brawler, the Rocketeer, the Grenadier and the Vanguard. I have played around with three of these mechs, um, one of them being in the C-Class which is the CT Recruit which actually you know everyone starts off with so I'm not going to tell you much about it because obviously if you play the game then you know about this uh, mech. But the other one is also in the B class, which is the Bruiser. And if I remember right, uh, if I remember right, I'm actually talking about the right um, mech as well. So if I remember right, the Bruiser had a minigun on the uh, as the primary and a scattered rocket thing as a secondary. Uh, the Bruiser was pretty good, to be honest. Um, it was more of a speed and agility than power, although it doesn't sound like it, but uh, it certainly had some power. But it was very quick, it had a very fast movement and, and everything, so it was uh, pretty efficient. The last, well, the third um, mech that I used was in the C class, which was actually the Brawler. Um, it turned out that was, I was kind of surprised about this one because although it was very, very slow um, and you know, it had the ability to turn it in, into a turret, which was actually not too efficient because you could still get damaged, uh, not just from the sides and stuff, but also from uh, in front of you. You could get damaged less obviously than if you weren't in a turret mode thing. 
but you could still get damaged and it didn't seem to be enough like less damage that you would take if that makes sense so I didn't I personally didn't find it very efficient to be in in the turret but the brawler was was a pretty beast uh, mech if I say so because um, the rockets I don't remember what type of secondary I had actually but the primary was a shotgun and it was a pretty beasty shotgun so you know just keep in mind that well try out the turret thing um, if you're using the brawler then I don't know well if you're gonna use it I don't recommend going into the turret mode although it might be good at long ranges but you know just keep that in mind this was it for this episode I know it was kind of short but I mean I just went over the basic mechs and stuff um, I'm thinking of actually going in depth with a certain mech for next episode I might do some abilities or some weapons or maps or maybe some tips and tricks or something like that but we'll see what's gonna happen um, this game is surprisingly easy to run um, so you know you don't need an extremely amazing laptop you just need a you know a normal laptop <laughs> Um, if, if you can run, if you can run Minecraft, then you're going to be able to run this. So it's surprisingly easy to run. So if you can get some friends to download as well, as it is a free-to-play, um, then that's good because this game is all about l teamwork and sticking together more than any other game that I've actually played before. So definitely, you would want to stick together with your teammates and stuff. So if if you're thinking of picking this game up, um, then I hope they have helped. I hope that you know you know which. Um, mech you want to try out first and stuff so apart from that um, I hope you have enjoyed the video and if you would be so kind to drop a like down below as they do help out and apart from that I'm going to see you guys next time um, goodbye <laughs>